It's Smoky Baby time. This is the Mike number one. We're calling her number one because she was the first born. And it just seems like that's the best thing to call her. Anyhow, her tail is kinking up pretty good, so it's going to be a perfect tail. You can't see it there. And she is eating better than anybody. Look at that belly. I mean, my God. It's almost embarrassing what an appetite she has. She's first out of the gate, and she's first at the dinner plate, and she is doing just great. She's two days old today, and she just has really pretty markings. Mostly blue, but patches of cream there, too. She has a really pretty face. And she's got a healthy, hearty appetite, that's for sure. She's going to be very pretty. She's going to have a beautiful face. You can tell her head and her ears are going to be really pretty. I know, it's hard to say at this age, but having done this litter several times, and uh, I've been using this father almost exclusively for the last couple of years, I've just gotten really outstanding babies from him bred to anybody, especially bred to Smokey. So this is Miki number one. We're just gonna call her number one for number for now. Till I can till they open their eyes and I have some cute little names for them. Yes, you're very cute. You're very cute. You've got an excellent appetite. Yes you do. She's like, I'm I'm even trying to walk here. It's pretty amazing at two days of age. So that's the little number one, Dilute Mike. And then we have number two. Very dramatic. Very dramatic. Traditional Mike. There's a slight chance she could be a smoke, but God, her, her black is so black and her red is so red. I, I think she's. I'm, 99% sure she's a traditional Mike. She's got some really pretty markings on her face that are almost symmetrical. So whatever eye color she has, it should really show off her her eyes with the black coming down around it like that. And her eyes are either be green, green and blue, blue and gold, or blue. She's got the cutest little spots on the top of her head. It's got like little, it's just the cutest thing. I've never seen anything like that. There's white running through the black. I think it's a secret message to me. I don't know. I can't tell what it says though. I think it's in Japanese. Anyhow, this is number two. She's also got a very good appetite. And of course, there's only three of them, so they're getting plenty of <coughs> Smokey's amazing milk. She's also trying to walk, too, man. She's got places to go. Anyhow, she's got really, really pretty markings. Black and red and white, and it's just really, really dramatic. It has a perfect little tail. And that, like I said, she's got some message on the top of her head in white. Like a little lightning bolt. It's very cute. You're full of energy, aren't you? She's like, yes, I've got places to go. You're a very beautiful girl. Yes, you are. Look, let's show Catherine your face again. Oh, yes, you're very cute. She's going to be just as pretty as her sister, Niji. I think she's going to be prettier, actually. Because she's got the more symmetrical markings on her head than Niji does. But Niji's a good girl. Uh, the same mother and father. 
Yes, you're very busy, aren't you? Look, I got a lot of personality already. Yes, I do. There she is, number two. Make sure we give an equal time to all these kitties. Oh yeah, you're really you're really trying to go somewhere, aren't you? She's definitely trying to go somewhere. Okay. Now we have number three. I go back and forth every day. Some days I think she's a silver pattern with really dark silver tabby. And some days I think she's a smoke with some ghost tabby lines in her black, which happens sometimes. I'll tell you what, whatever she is, she's cuter than a bug. She's very dramatic. And I think she's going to be... I think she's going to be blue-eyed because there's so much white on her face. All of these cats feel like long hairs, but that could be because their mother's a long hair. Uh, the only one that I would really think might be a long hair is the uh, Dilute Mike, and that's because her tail is a little longer. And that's my that's been my experience with the, the long hairs. You can't really tell at birth, but the ones that are going to be long hair tend to have the more appropriate longer tail to go with their coat. And um, number two and number three, we'll call her number three, Smoky Silver something or other, she has that really short, perfect show tail as well. So my uh, breeder guts are telling me that number one might be a long hair and number two and three are short hairs. But I will not know for sure for at least three weeks. I usually can tell eye color in about about three weeks, unless it's really dramatic and light, then I can tell a little sooner, but generally not before three weeks. So this girl, like I said, she's definitely one or the other. She's either a smoke, because you can definitely see the white root hair, or she's a silver Mike, which is a silver tabby and cameo and white. And um, since Smokey is a smoke, and she was bred to a tabby, I'm, it's possible that these kittens could be smokes or silvers. Either way, she's got really dramatic markings too. The white, uh, I'm sorry, the red is paler because it's cameo, and that's red with white at the root. If it's silver tabby, it's it's. It's a cameo tabby, which is also lighter at birth. So she's definitely not a traditional Mike. I just don't know for sure what she is. And as she gets bigger, the lines will either come in stronger or they'll fade, and the black will get darker and the root hair will get lighter. Anyhow, she has hardly any white on her face, any color on her face at all. She also has a very good appetite, and they're really active. I mean, they're just trying to go back to Japan here by foot. Yes, number two's the most active. You're having a little trouble slipping and sliding on linoleum. Anyhow, that's number three. For now, I'm just going to call them one, two, and three. And that way, until they find some names for themselves, or I come up with some cute nicknames, or if you folks that are going to get them come up with any names, um, I'd be happy to call them by their planned names. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, that's it. We'll put you back in with your lunch buddies. I've got Smokey out here in the living room beside my recliner so I can keep an eye on her babies at all times and she's just digging on she's like okay mom if this is where you want me to be that's good with me 
spends a lot of time with her babies, but then she'll come up in the recliner and hang out with me for a while because she's a very, very sweet cat. And I'm hoping, and I pretty much know because I've done this litter three or four times now, that the babies I get out of Smokey and Honto are always just fantastic as far as personality go. So that's it for now. We'll see you in about a week or so after our peepers are open so you can see what we're really going to look like. Sayonara.